Welcome. Welcome to this place in cyberspace, which we sometimes refer to as the virtual mission chapel of the Archangel Uriel, part of the Temple of Gaia. Whether this looks like something you've avoided or something you miss, we hope you will find what you're looking for while you're here. We are omnidenominational. We don't teach you our path. We help you find your own path. If you have a path, we hope we can add some dimension to it while you're here. And you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. If you don't have a spiritual path, we can help you find yours. If you once did have a spiritual path, but you were driven away by issues, especially issues having to do with other people on that path, we hope that you can come here for the healing you need and the restoration you deserve. Above all, welcome. Merry meet, blessed be, and a blessed maybon to one and all. I consecrate this circle of power to the ancient gods. Here they may, may they manifest and bless their child. <clears throat> I consecrate this circle of power to the ancient gods. Here may they manifest and bless their child. This is a time that is not a time in a place that is not a place, on a day that is not a day. I stand at the threshold between the worlds, before the veil of mysteries. May the Ancient Ones help and protect me on my magical journey. I call upon you, powers of air, to witness this rite and to guard this circle. I call upon you, powers of fire, to witness this right and to guard this circle. I call upon you, powers of water, to witness this right and to guard this circle. I call upon you, powers of earth, to witness this right and to guard this circle. Amari Noadri, Helgave that are called Furt. Amari Austri, Helgave that are called Furt. Amari Sudri, Helgave that are called Furt. Amari Vestri, Helgave that are called Furt. Amaru from here, Helgave that are called Furt. Amaru to me, Helgave that are called Furt. Hamar Helgevet the Dark Halvert. Umikok Emir as Gardarak Midgar. The circle is bound with power all round. Within it I stand with protection at hand. Maybon. The autumn equinox. Harvest home festival, some people call it. Some of the music. You may remember from Christian times, we gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. Now thank we all our God, and that sort of thing. And why not? 
It's our divine too. I want to offer you a reading here. This is from Edmund McCoy's The Sabbaths. A prayer for Mabon. And this will do for a revered writing. Bountiful Mother Earth, whose dark womb has brought forth this munificence we see before us. We humbly thank you for your gift of sustenance, which nourishes our bodies and minds. Lord of the harvest, wise and giving, we praise your generosity in providing this feast, which gives us strength and endurance. Lord and Lady, our blessings this year have been many. We thank you for, and here's a good time for giving thanks. Bear in mind, in November, here in the United States, we come to a holiday called Thanksgiving. And it's a transplant of this one. And for all those blessings and gifts which in the hustle and bustle of daily living we have overlooked and taken for granted, we most gratefully thank you now. Blessed Lord and Lady, mighty and powerful, tender and charitable, forever may your praises be sung by your adoring and thankful children. So mote it be, and so mote it be indeed. We have eight Sabbaths in the year. Did you ever notice that of those eight Sabbaths, seven of them have one focus, one basic theme, fulfillment. What's the exception? The next one coming. Seven. Why is that different? Because there we have two focuses. It's an end and it's at a beginning. So this is not the final fulfillment. No, that's at Samhain. That's what that Samhain when some will say the old man dies, the old God dies. Some say Persephone goes into the earth. It's a death. But a death that comes with a promise. A promise that there will be a new birth and a new life. And a new vitality. And new harvests. And all this is coming. And the seven Sabbaths that follow that are the stages of fulfillment. And the eighth is the the eighth one is once again the final and the beginning again. But let's look at that. Fulfillment. I call this, the video version of this, Mass for the Shutout. And for some of you, the reason for that ought to be pretty clear. I'm trying to offer spiritual healing for those who need it. A spiritual reconciliation for those who need it. And for those who just want to find something that too. But especially for those who feel, have reason to feel shut out, this is for them especially. And anybody else, yes, but for them especially. 
And the big three, I like to call them. The big three, I want to say heresies. The big three lame excuses people make. for the divine, that causes the divine to get blamed for so many things. God's will, God's time, God's higher plan. Please don't try to convince me that you've never heard of them. Well, let's look at God's will. This, we're seeing the fulfillment of God's will. And it's not wavering. So please don't try to convince me that he's got some sort of a passive-aggressive personality disorder. He doesn't. God's time, it's on the calendar, folks. The 21st of September is Maybon. It's on the calendar. God's higher plan, this is the highest plan, the cycle. Look at how many circles there are in the physical universe that follow it. The earth around the sun, the moon around the earth. our solar system around whatever is at the center of our galaxy, our galaxy around whatever it's around, all the way down to the atom. So yeah, there's an answer for that kind of talk. And part of it is in the cycle of Saturn. And so let's celebrate fulfillment and enjoy it and look forward to more fulfillment. Since the dawn of time, people have sought communion with the divine. And the divine is sought to facilitate that communion. Toward that end, the divine has acquired many faces and facets. So that over the generations, people would be able to envision and commune with the divine in terms which they could understand. Now as we come to know better the ways of our ancestors and the ways of others, we strive to see the unity behind the innumerable faces and facets of the divine. Like a diamond, the divine has facets, each facing a particular direction and having its own characteristics but each facet is connected to each other facet by the rest of the diamond, such that no facet can claim to be the entire diamond. And that diamond is the divine, that most high God, whose first priest known to us by name was Melchizedek. I stand here before the most high God as a mortal among mortals. I'm a priest because the divine called me to be a priest, and I hold myself accountable to the divine for my deeds as a priest. And I stand with the priests and priestesses who have come before me in proclaiming faith in the divine. I believe in the unnamed God, the bornless one, from whom all else divine and mundane was created. And in the many facets of the Godhead, named and without name, seen as gods, goddesses, or otherwise, which reach out to receive each person within mankind in communion, each according to his or her perception and understanding of the divine. And I believe in the archangels Raphael, Gabriel, Michael, and Ariel, and other angels known and unknown. And I believe in one earth, the mother of us all, and in one womb, wherein all men and women are begotten, and wherein they shall rest. And I believe in many paths to the divine, all leading to the divine. And I believe in the gathering of people of like mind and the power and energy they raise when gathered for life purpose. 
and I believe in the communion of saints. And for as much as food and drink are transmuted to us daily into spiritual substance, I believe in the miracle of the Mass. And I confess one baptism of wisdom whereby we accomplish the miracle of incarnation. And I confess my life, one individual and eternal, which was and is and is to come. So will it be. And so we proclaim the great mystery of the divine. A God is born. A God lives. A God has died. A God is born again. A God lives again. Father Odin, Lady Freya, El Shaddai, Mar Yeshua, Lord Cronunos, Lady Caridwen, Mighty Thor, Lady Frigga, Lady Seif, Lady Hedvig, Lady Hecate, Lord Forseti, Raphael, Gabriel, Mikael, Yuria, and those who the people who are joining us through cyberspace wish to invite I invite you and welcome you to this temple, to this circle, and to this rite. I welcome you, and as a token of that welcome, in accordance with the ancient ways, I break bread with you. Hail and welcome. I welcome you in reverence and respect, but also in friendship. I welcome you in friendship and as a token of that friendship and to bind that friendship. I offer drink. Hail and welcome. Behold the feast with which we welcome the divine. Take of the bread and of the cup and feast and celebrate as the divine without in welcomes the divine without.
this May month. This harvest of harvests. This feast of feasts. We thank you so very much. For so very much. Here we each can give thanks for so many things. And I was not the one that was laid off. And I was not among those laid off. That I still had my job. That so much was fulfilled. That a new ministry lies before me. And I know that those are, who are gathered here with us have their own thanks to give. And I also, as I read earlier, for all of us, so many things that we didn't notice, or we were too busy to see, or we took for granted, we take the time now to say thanks. And so will it be. Go forth in peace, O powers of air, my thanks and my blessings. Go forth in peace, O powers of fire, my thanks and my blessings. Go forth in peace, O powers of water, my thanks and my blessings. Go forth in peace, O powers of my thanks and my blessings. To all beings and powers of the visible and invisible depart in peace. May there always be love, peace, and harmony among us. My thanks and my blessings. The circle is open, yet ever it remains a circle. Around and through me always flows its magical journey. So mote it be. Uriel's Gifts and the Secrets in Plain Sight are sponsored by the Temple of Gaia. Your spiritual journey is exactly that, a journey. Like any other journey, there's a beginning point, there's a destination, and there's every step from the start to the finish. Religion is like underwear. What works well for me might be inappropriate for someone else, including you. I can guarantee you that no matter how similar our paths are, they will not be identical. At Temple of Gaia, we don't train you to our path. We show you how to find and pursue your own path. We also help you prepare for your ministry. Prepare, yes, no matter how far along you are, there will always be something coming to prepare for. Ministry, we all have a ministry beginning with our own ministry to ourselves. Above all, we provide a great place to come together and to share. We're located in Collingdale, Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia, and wherever cyberspace can be reached. Temple of Gaia is a Wiccan church incorporated under the laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. To learn more, visit our website at templeofgaiainc.org. That's T-E-M-P-L-E-O-F-G-A-I-A-I-N-C. Dot org. We also have a meeting place in cyberspace at templeofgaia.ning.com. If you like this, you might also enjoy our weekly audio podcast, The Secrets in Plain Sight, available through iTunes or almost any place else where free podcasts are available for download, including its own website at secrets.libsyn.com. Thank you for coming. I hope that you've found something here that can help, perhaps a seed that might take hold and grow to your benefit. Feel free to return at any time. We intend to always have something for you here. Blessed be. This has been a presentation of the Wise Ones Net. Merry part and blessed be.